Yeah, I'm not sure what the hell happened, but unfortunately we sort of crashed, I guess. I don't know. The, the game glitched out. It's okay, though. We're just going to repeat the same sort of battle that we had with the cargo ships, but this time we're going to kill the destroyer so that he doesn't surrender, which is good. And we don't have to essentially fight the battle again. Okay, so same thing as last time, and we're going to turn on manual control. Hopefully my ships won't get off of manual control, because that was super annoying. Like, I was like, what the hell? What's going on? Not listening to me. The robots are taking over. It's the end. So he's doing a good job at protecting the oil tankers. But again, this guy has probably a desk job, so nobody really likes him. So they put him on, like, one destroyer and told him to fuck off. Kind of sucks. He probably spells too, but I don't know. But you know what? He probably also has a heart of gold. No! Fight the... I knew. I knew it. Should have expected this. Alright. You. You. You're gonna go ahead and focus on the targets I tell you to focus on, okay? Like this guy. Ooh, nice hit on the oil tanker, good. Oh, Fletcher's about to ram into the oil tanker. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Look at Fletcher just bumping into this dude. Crap. Of course we would miss with our torpedo. Well, you know what? I'm about to sink his battleship. See, sometimes you can you can fire and not use the tactical view mode. It's just a lot more simpler if you use the tactical view mode because you don't miss that much. Uh oh. Really kicking these ships' butts. Oh, God bless you. Oh, this guy's toast. Okay, let's not waste our torpedoes so that we can use them on the cargo ships. There we go. You just have you fire that oil tanker and you can fire on that oil tanker. That should be pretty much about it, actually, for the most part. And we do have another ship, but that's okay. He'll be dead. Oh, come on. There we go. It's about to say, like, that oil tanker must be a god or something. He's able to micro his way around torpedoes. Alrighty then, so one more volley. There we go. We're right in the kisser. No, not in the kisser at all. Maybe this guy will actually be the hero of the day. or something. Doesn't matter though. The Japanese still lost. Actually, probably if the Japanese did have like animantium ships, they would have been able to win World War II. But you know what? Fuck you, cruisers. I'm not even gonna deal with you. I'm gonna peace on out of here. Cruisers again, they have more range, more damage than any destroyer that we currently have access to, so I'm not even gonna try and deal with them. And we're actually too low of a level to actually go ahead and get cruisers, which kind of sucks, but you know what? That's okay. We'll just build a bunch of destroyers and overwhelm our opponents with sheer destroyer numbers. Beautiful. Alrighty then, so we have an mission. That's a-okay. I'm gonna go to the shipyard and buy ourselves the JKN? I would love to get a submarine, but 
as you can see, submarines go at about 21 knots, which means submarines are pretty damn slow. No, get the tribal class. If all of our ships are going at 21 knots and our... Well, if all of our ships go at 36 knots and our submarine goes at 21, that's going to be really, really bad. Then we won't be able to actually... Um, be able to use the submarine at all in any way, shape, or form. Because he won't be able to catch up to any of our ships in the battle. Alright, so it's only one ship over here that we have to deal with. That's okay. I'll just go ahead and send all my ships to automatically attack him. That should be it, actually, for the most part. So nothing we can really do, actually. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the tactical view. Yeah, let's look at it from the side of the Japanese as he shits in his pants when he sees three destroyers firing at him all at once. Yeah, he's getting the fuck out of there. He knows what's up. God, I got to really lower the music of this game. But it's funny because, like, in general, the game has, like, tons and tons of, like, glitches that, like, make a lot of your options that you make seemingly irrelevant because they just undo them. But the, but the game is in early, it's in the early stages of development, so they're still kinking out the, the bugs here and there. Can you, can you fight them? I'm not sure what my ships are actually doing, circling around, like vultures. Hey, look at this. What the hell? Oh, the AI is a little bit more dumb than I actually give them credit. Okay. Seems like Papa Master Rolfless gets to go in and spank a few unwanted babies. Alright. It's so like an abortion. We're just going to take a coat hanger and just shove it into your butt. And take out all the dirty insides. I wonder if it will be able to catch up to him. It might be already too late. No, no, it won't be too late. That's good. Should have left when you had the chance. Num nuts. In fact, we don't even need a little motion. We can just fire torpedoes. Oh no, the AI can do that for me. And it won't hit at all. I knew it. Oh, you want to try too? Here. Ah, amuse me. I have been definitely amused. No, please, please manual control. Let me have manual control. Let me have manual control of you. So I can do this. Thank God. Well, that, I, I, I just couldn't stand it anymore. Holy moly, guacamole! Got rid of those fools. Oh, nice, a million dosh. Still don't have access to cruisers, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Oh, really? Another convoy? Awesome. Just need to do these missions and then we're just going to be able to get so much dosh that once the cruisers come around, oh man, we'll be able to afford all of them. Cruisers cost about like 10 million bucks anyway. Now where the hell is Midway actually? Oh, we have to escort the convoy. Alright, seems like a good, good idea actually to have me escort it. Make, make me do the, all the bitch work. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. I am the most kick-ass admiral in the entirety of the Pacific Fleet. Besides, this isn't like Resident Evil 4, where the escort missions are so, um, I guess invasive and annoying that you kind of want to kill yourself. Leon! Leon! Oh, whoa, what the hell is that? Yeah, you're not supposed to attack him. Nope, nope. I see you. I see you. We're definitely gonna fuck this guy over. Look at this one destroyer. You can. Yeah, let's go ahead and take him out. He thinks he's boss. You know what? We'll show him who's boss. We'll show him who's boss. The mighty dick of. Bleh. Sorry, the mighty dick of Abe Lincoln is about to go right up his his bum hole. Uh, it seems like. Our tribal class is about to square off. Alright, good, good. Slow things down. Nice! Wow, one shot KO. 
Holy moly guacamole. That was easy. Alright, continue moving forward. Yo! Yo, come on. Don't be a douche. Attack that supply ship. Look, there's nine ships there. Tagger it. What a douche. She's continuing to follow us. God, mom, make him stop. Ah, too late. We win. Yeah, America. Fuck yeah. Huh. You're the captain at, uh, I guess, Midway Island as well? Must be the captain everywhere. An assault on Wake Island. Seems like a good idea. Six million dosh. We're close to getting out the cruisers. It's 150 XP. So close. Oh, God. Look at these turrets that we have available to us. Man. Alright, where the hell is Wake Island, actually? Wake Island is, uh, where again? Over there? Is that Wake Island? Yeah, that's Wake Island, 100 kilometers away. Onward, freedom and glory. I feel all alone in the vast emptiness that is the sea. I mean, what if a giant Cthulhu monster pops out of nowhere and tries to destroy everybody? The Kraken or something. We won't be able to deal with it. Like, look at, look at this emptiness. What if, like, I don't know, a giant whale just comes around and just beats us? That's not gonna be kosher. Not for anybody. Alright. You know what? No more paranoia. It's time we go in and attack Wake Island. Alright, so what does Wake Island have to defend itself? A torpedo boat and a destroyer. Holy crap. This is gonna be too fucking easy. So destroyer boats are stupendously, stupendously weak. They're cheap, but they have really, really short range, and they can only really, I don't know, fire torpedoes, and that's about it. Like, torpedo bolts are just so goddamn dumb. And why, why would you ever build them when you have stuff like cruisers and stuff? I guess just to overwhelm your opponent. Granted, there's mo no multiplayer side of the game, so I guess you're not really counting on, I guess, the balance for the most part with a lot of these ships. Now, in order to conquer the island, we need all four of our troop transports to get landed onto the port. Or, um, we just destroy all the enemy ships. That's really about it. In fact, let me just, just show you guys the torpedo boat for a second. Like, phew! It's just a dude on a jet ski. That's all. Alrighty then. Well, let me slow things down a bit. And fire a volley at you. Problem is that aiming at the torpedo boats is a little bit tricky. As you can see, it's really, really tricky. Because they're really fast and they're really small. However, with overwhelming numbers on your side, you can definitely shrek them. Oh, fuck me. However, against troop transports, these guys are terrible. But, one shot KO. That's all you really need. But holy crap, against troop transports, they're just unstoppable. I'm not sure if the AI is actually smart enough to attack the ports that I have control to, but we might be able to see some naval invasions from the AI. Who knows? Okay, you can fire your volley and you can just go ahead and wait till your turn's up. Oh, no, never mind. You're gonna fire on your own accord and completely miss. Goddamn AI. Always trying to be the hero. Like Spider-Man or Wolverine. The Flash. Or Shazam. Nightwing. Article Boy. Basically, all the superheroes that aren't important. Oh, by the way, taste your pito! Motherfucker. Taste it. Taste it. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. What? What? 
must be related to like Usain Bolt or something because how you were able to avoid that is impressive. Whatever. We did win. Thank you, thank you, yes, yes. We are the glorious vict uh, victorious conquerors of this port. And now, I have access to the cruisers. Ooh, 14 million? Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go ahead and complete our mission. Yeah, FDR better be proud of me. I was more of a Theodore Roosevelt kind of guy, but you know what? FDR is a pretty cool dude. Okay, then. So, let's see what we have in store. One of the biggest, baddest ship possible. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look at this, baby. Look at the cannons on this butte. Yeah, we're definitely going to get you. Mm-mm-mm. The Pentecostal. All right, so first and foremost, however, let's go ahead, lower the... Yeah, I lowered the music and the sound effects and the ambience to, like, 76, and the game just doesn't listen. I don't know why. Whatever. Let's just go ahead and peace out, I guess. Bye. Wake Island's yes, now ours. Today, Whoa. December 7th, 1941. Something's talking. A date which will live in infamy. Wait, so it's not December 7th, 1941? The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked. Are you just now making the speech? After America we've been forces, fighting a couple of battles against the Japanese already? FDR, you are slow as a, a kite. You know what, dude? You got this. I'm not even going to tag myself in. Got that dude. I have bigger fish to fry. I'm gonna conquer these four little Japanese islands over here. Oh, the Brits are fighting the Japanese. I could help, or I could be a giant douche. Douching it up. Peace, fool. Alright, now I really want to get those islands. Come on now. Come on, baby boy. Alright, well, no torpedoes, no anti-sub technology, no anti-aircraft technology, but it doesn't even matter. Because we have a fuck ton of cannons for this dude. He can destroy ships. Look at him. Oh. Oh, yeah. Look how big he is. Look at these cannons. Oh, look at the range on these buttes. Oh, 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 I have died and went to ship heaven. Alright, so let's see. What do we have in store for us today? Alright, torpedo boat and the Kagura class destroyer. Oh, Kidoki, artichokes. Look at this, look at this. This dude has so much range. And compared it to the other ships, the destroyers, there's just no contest whatsoever. None. It's insane how much range the cruisers have over other ships. Alright, torpedo boat, your ass is now grass. Kidoki, slow you down a bit. Oh, you're gonna go that way, huh? Fire! Ooh, will we hit? Will it hit? Will it hit? No, it won't. Travel time is way too long. Close though, really fucking close. So let's go ahead and have our tribal class intercept this dude while we have the cruiser fire at the destroyer over here. here let's pause this and let's just like look at it from the tactical map. Yeah, yeah. Free roam. Oh, that sucks. Oh. oh, let's see what happens. Oh, close but no cigar. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! The damage is just overwhelming. Ha 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 ha! Get scrubbed. 
seems like Torpedo Boy wants to take on a cruiser. You know what? Good luck, buddy boy. When I have cannons like these. Oh, you don't want to mess? Come on. You better surrender. You better surrender. Fool. Your 12 man crew has nothing on us. Look at that. Admiral Whiskers is now a god to the American people. Uh, Jolot Atoll. Well, 